but uh, what is your favorite food? Funny food. Oh? <laughs> Bonding on that. Yeah. Okay, I have one question. See, these days, I think you, as you allude to all the Instagram reels or shorts, we see the reading habits going really down. I'm not talking about this audience. What can we do in, as a strategy, as a parent, as a teacher? How do we improve? You're right. And it is Especially a printed book. No, I agree. And I'm okay with e-books also because it's still reading. But reading habits, it's one of those things like gym, you know, once you do it, you feel good, but to make you do it, you feel resistance. Like ganda hai, laziness, you know, it's just much easier to watch a reel. But it's mind garbage, like nobody remembers reels. We remember two states book from 15 years ago, but we don't remember any reel you saw 15 minutes ago. Because your brain is, you know, not it's not important, it's stupid content. It's just a lulls your brain and it's like, the, the, it's an addictive kind of process and I think it is through awareness when you tell parents and when you tell people themselves that listen it's not a substitute reading is reading nothing will build your focus and concentration like reading nothing will trigger your imagination like reading everything else is prepared in the video content we prepare the movies you know Alevar is walking so you don't have to imagine Ananya how you have to imagine in two states reading the book so it is not allowing your brain to develop those creativity pathways, focus pathways, concentrate. They only say well-read person. They never say well TV watched person <laughs> or like well read person. You know. Now this has to be brought to people's attention. I'm trying to do my bit by writing books which are easy to read, and I realize that even though I make a lot of videos, I am on Instagram. We make. I realize that it cannot be done. I cannot, like, it will be, I can give a taste, but I cannot do a proper understanding without writing a book. And this is the tool of my choice for this message. So I think parents and people have to say that reading habit has to remain. You can't just say because videos are there, I want to read. You know, that's like saying, you know, buses are there, so I'll never walk. So that's, it's going to be bad for you. You know, so it's just awareness. Because we, we have to self-regulate now. Because nobody's coming to save us. You know, this there's just too, too many trillion dollar companies trying to make you watch reels. It's literally the case. So you have to do it yourself. And, and a lot of it, like you said, is mindless browsing. It's just mindlessly browsing for yeah. hours. It's the same predictive properties of the you know. Anything else? So I am a market research pro uh, professional and also an author. Okay. And uh, to be honest, like you are one of the few Trigger authors. Food. Sorry? Trigger food. Don't forget. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trigger food is uh, samosa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you are one of the few authors which actually inspired me to write because your writing is so simple. Once I start, as, as he was mentioning, once you start within a day, it's over. So I started uh, reading your, uh, started with re reading your five points all. And uh, my question is that, do you, in, uh, in, that mo uh, in that book, you start from a student life and then you transition to a working professional, do you intend sometime to write something like, uh, you start from a working professional transitioning to a uh, retirement or something like that? Like a, like a, like a sequel. Like a sequel. Like a sequel. Sorry? Like a sequel. Like a sequel. sequel. Of sequel of what? Five points. Maybe, but you know, it has to excite me. I mean, it, it, can be something different on that, like a more mature character's kind of story, but it doesn't have to be a sequel. It, I just don't, it doesn't creatively excite me to do sequels. It's a franchise. Normally, always when sequels are done, they are done because it's selling and it will sell. If somehow it's like coming from here, it's good. But you know, it, it really, it will be craft. It will not be art. And I don't want to do craft anymore even though it makes money because you know no, I think that book inspired a lot of readers yeah. as well as a lot of students you know some stories have to be left <laughs> and people want a little more it has to be like that in life the best parties are when people tell thodi aur chalti yani acha ghar ja ghar ja chalo bas are nahi abhi jaa nahi jao so that they will remember there's a ha yeah Hello, nice to meet you in person. Myself, Varshini. 
I'm an actually uh, now I'm working as a software engineer. Like I have graduated one year back. So you said like. Uh, Trigger food, sir. Why? Why the one obsessed with food? Huh. Yeah, my favorite food is vada pav. Okay. I usually go up to spicy things. Okay. Yeah. So I work a nine to five job, and you said like uh, everybody will say like follow passion and all, but nobody says uh, what what will be the side effect of that. Like we might lose uh, lose some relationships, something etc. etc. So I want to ask you a general question, as you have been in the shoes, uh, like. Now I'm stuck in an IT job and I have a passion to do something else. The thing is, I'm very much interested in teaching and writing. So if I want to adopt that, there might come few talk talkings like you may not make more money out of it, or it it may not be the best uh, career choice. Mm -hmm. So these are the situations everybody will face. So what what will be the advice or personal suggestion you can give? So you said two things: teaching and um, writing. Writing, writing. I agree, it's very unpredictable, money-making wise. Okay, and especially when you're a beginner, it's a huge struggle, and it's not known for making money. I'm yeah. being very honest. I've been lucky, but uh, it's not a profession where, like real estate, is known for making money. You said my profession, my passion is to be a builder. Good, you make money, <laughs> but it's not. It's one of those non-money or like uncertain money. But you also said teaching, which can give you some decent money. I mean, at least, if you do it right, you can at least have a life in a campus. Even if you don't have a lot of money or a decent lifestyle, like job, whatever, whatever. So that way you're lucky. You have to, and one of them at least can pay the bills. Will software pay more? Yes. Obviously. Until AI comes next year and nobody has a job anymore. <laughs> but um, yes. So, but it, it's. You have to decide for yourself. How important is money to you? You don't look like a person who will, like, you know, you. The fact that you ask this question yeah. means it's there in your head. Yes, yes. It's bothering you in, within one year of doing this job. Yes, yes. I got frustrated after eleven years. <laughs> <laughs> one year. So clearly, it, and it's not going to go away. Yes. It's only going to get worse. Yes. You know, so. Unless you start teaching everybody in office, <laughs> um, you have to do something about it. So go for teaching. Yeah. So at least you are lower income but not zero income. Yes. And from there you can revisit the writing. Yeah. But there is a path for you, I see. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yours was uh, the girl in the room one dot five, and that was pretty interesting. I just finished in two days. So here you mentioned that. Uh, uh, there are some of your personal information that even your family doesn't know, right? So how hard it was you to pen down your thoughts into this book? It was just what needed to happen. And some of this, if you are doing this right, any creative process, not just writing, singing, um, painting, whatever, it's coming from your um, subconscious brain. There is a conscious brain, is that so we know that prefrontal cortex, and there is that other. You can say it's like an iceberg, you know. Like we know certain things. There's a very big brain which exists, which we don't have conscious control over. Sometimes, but it's there. Like you have old memories that suddenly come back. You sometimes get flashes of it that come to the surface. But there's a whole hard drive inside. So if you're doing this right, it's coming from there. So that's where it comes from, you know. So I don't have full control over it. That's the scary part, but that's also the beautiful part. I I don't have a script. I, I don't know. It's coming from a box, from the cloud server. And I don't have access, I don't control it like I can control some of the other things in my life. So luckily it has worked. I what comes people like. But you, that's the only way to do it properly. And that's the only thing that has been most successful. I can, because it's 20 years of practice, I can mimic it, but then it's like chat GPT output. <laughs> Crap, basically. Well, it's, it's, it's not got soul. Try chat GPT to write a story. It will be shit. 
because it doesn't have that. ChatGPT never had a troubled childhood. <laughs> you know, so it doesn't have things in that box that I have. So it will never be able to, AI will never be able to win in that aspect yet. Maybe one day they'll make, but abhi to bahut dura. So that's, that's how it, the process is actually. Thank you. Yeah. That's Pani Puri of course. Secondly, great fan. And thirdly... Do you get good Pani Puri in Bangalore? No, we do. Yes. We are not. So I'm asking, I'm asking. We, no, so no there are two types. Yeah, I am not funny. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> there are two types. So, no, don't. Like, <laughs> so, so, uh, you <laughs> so, there, are two, there are two types of Pani Puri available in Bangalore. One now, the moment you say there are two types, no. <laughs> One is the authentic South Indian uh, version of Pani Puri with ragda and it's hot. And the what other version... authentic South Indian Pani Puri? That's like saying authentic Punjabi dosa. <laughs> we do have our version. Uh, the other one... It has ragda in it. Yes, and it's quite hot as well. It's like actually hot, like temperature is hot. Yeah, yeah and it has a lot of... Like, it, it's actually nice to have with some water. They are making green chili here. Where You have to try it. 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 You have to hit item. You have to try it. And you have to derivation of Masal Puri, which we love as Bangaloreans on a rainy day. Okay, fine. <laughs> Good attempt. <laughs> no, I mean, okay. There is laws and South Indian But we'll make you taste. And then it's you could probably judge. I'm saying I'm going to go to Delhi. I'm sure it's there. I was just like, I'm sure now everybody, everywhere in India, it's, it's there. It's, okay, your question. So, my question is what is your favorite color? My favorite color? Yeah. It's a hard one to say. <laughs> I don't know, black and blue. Men, white, black, blue, grey. Why are you there? Why so steep? I don't know. I, mean, I like pink also. I do like pink. I do wear pink shirts. And yeah. Pink. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now that you've got the mic. And uh, my trigger food will be chocolates. Okay. Um, I have one question, but before that, I want to have I, I want to, I have a lot of gratitude for you. It's my childhood dream, as I told you. Thank you. So much. My uh, first book. Oh, oh, I started. I'm actually speechless right now a bit, but <laughs> trying to compose. Anyway, um, Trish and Ananya have uh, always motivated me a lot. And when I started working, one Indian girl had released. And there were comments a lot that um, you had gone through a lot of uh, waxing and whatever we face uh, as mm. women. So how did that feel like as being a man? Waxing? Not just waxing, I'm talking about it. I think you're talking about one Indian girl, which is a story of an Indian girl which I wrote in the article, like a female yes. first person. Exactly. So there's a whole waxing scene in the book where exactly. she goes waxing. So, it was so I was like, how can I write this scene? without actually having experienced it. So I also went waxing. Wow. It only felt fair method acting. It hurts a lot. <laughs> First time especially. I don't know, you maybe got used to it. No, it really hurts now. And I was like, this is what they will do it all the time and they're gonna ex and like how easy you say, I'm waxing me done. But like it's an expectation, right? It's like, wow, man, so much pain yeah. built into being a woman, like, so, yeah, so that was, it was fun, you know, way. but I just, it wasn't a big deal, but it, that's got picked up in the interviews the most. Gets that thing now. Where did you get that thing? They're ever taking this right. But uh, on those last note, uh, I just wanted to thank you, because talking about uh, uh, broken childhood. Your books were the only ones who kept motivating me, and even now, as they say, she said, 15 years and 20 years. Can't wait for another <coughs> fiction book coming out of you. Next so. one. Yes. Thank you so much. And hopefully, we'll do the book launch right here, and you'll yes. be a part of it. We will do it here. Yes. Yes.
delivery. Okay. Homemade and my mother made delivery. Homemade delivery? Yes, my mother cooks very well. It is hard to make a Yes, my mother And my question is that uh, as everyone started their book career with studying, I mean, booking habit with you, with your books, and my first book was uh, The Guardian Room 105. I started with Zara Loan. And whenever I go out, I, I like to see the beautiful girls, but not like, <laughs> not Zara Loan. I wanted to see who is that girl who, like, uh, Yes, that is a question. And who is the inspiration for you to uh, write a character like Sarah Lone? And um, as uh, about this uh, 11 rules for life, what is, makes the difference between other authors? As you mentioned, like um, atomic habits. So someone like me, I don't, uh, doesn't like motivation books, something like that. But um, as atomic, I uh, left between atomic habits. In not writing completely, but as you are the writer, I wanted to read complete this book. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I have read Atomic Habits, it's a very good book, I must say. And there is a reason why it's a worldwide bestseller. But it's a, uh, this is much simpler to read, firstly. This is far more Indian, uh, this is a lot more personal, and it's more comprehensive. Atomic Habits talks about habits, it's about how micro habits can change your life. Uh, this talks about everything. Um, which is right from your brain, where everything happens to your life, to even investing money. It has, it is life, everything, you know. And it's more story style. Like I said, this is a matter of so it makes it easier to read. Uh, but that's also a good book. I mean, I, 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 you don't have to compare. You can read both. Um, why, why not read both? You know. And it's good that you like to see two different worlds. The characters are alone, and you. That book, you know, it for men. I don't know if girls know this, but when men see a beautiful girl, they think she's flawless. Okay. In terms of not just beauty, but anything, she's perfect. She's an angel. <laughs> Cute, she's not an angel. Ask her dad. <laughs> <laughs> So, this book, uh, Girl in Room 105 Zara Lone, Keshav is obsessed with her and he's had a very bad breakup and she's beautiful and and then she dies, right? And that's the story of who killed her and whatever. And as I, I wanted to write a murder mystery where it was not just about who killed her, but it has to have more depth than that. And he realizes that his ex-girlfriend, she wasn't a perfect person. And it's an unloved story. How yes, he yes, un it's normally stories go how he starts from zero to start loving her, and it's about how he manages to unlove her. And I thought that'd make it interesting. And sometimes beauty makes us overlook other flaws in a person. And that just was a fascinating observation for me about men, especially. I don't have talents to women, but. I think for men, definitely, uh, they think you know, that she's the god. <laughs> what you seen on Instagram when like uh, hot girls post pictures? Okay, I yeah, I just stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see any hot girls picture, there's like a million likes first. I can make the best motivational video, I can never reach as many likes as hot girl in bikini eating breakfast in the morning. Okay? Model, right? And then you see the stupid comments like this. There is, I don't know, like there is men in India who are guarding our borders in Kargil, right? But there are men in India, our own Indian men, who are commenting on these girls. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> Divine angel sent from heaven. <laughs> Why? Because she's hot. If she was not hot, would you say she's an angel? And they give a sweetie, marry me. And like, you know, you are so amazing, you are so beautiful. What are these guys expecting? <laughs> so you want to pick up them phone and say, Manoj, <laughs> your emojis, man. That fire emoji. Let's go out tonight, you know. Ask them out. It's never going to happen. Okay? <laughs> so I just want to 
just shake things up a bit in a love story. Like he, you know, he loves her and he's obsessive, but she's not perfect, and there are a lot of messed up things about her. And she was also human. It's not like I made her a villain or anything. It's just normal and a great character. So I think that that's like, it was nice that you still remember it, and it kind of stuck in it got stuck in your head because it's a great character. The moment you make it a perfect character, it, it's okay. So you haven't mentioned the name okay. of that girl. Yes, I can't mention. Oh. There's no one girl that inspired her, honestly. There were a few people in life which I saw and I thought that they are so beautiful and they just must be so amazing. But then I saw how they treated people, how they... In this particular case, like somebody, if she was really beautiful, she didn't care dumping a guy because by the time she dumped the guy and she put an Instagram post of moving on, in life is important and I'm wandering and not those who have wandered are lost. Fifty guys have DM'd her. What happened baby? You know, you know, you I'm here for you. I'm here for you. And she's moved on. And moved on like for six months he's gone okay. Okay, we'll do back with One last question. Chambasa University, Gulbar Gaza. I came from a Gulbar Masala. Okay, good. Uh, I came from Gulbarga side. Uh, from here it is uh, 650 kilometer. Uh, 650 kilometer turned into. So dangerous! Wow, thank you. Uh, 650 kilometer turned into 65 kilometer in the curiosity of seeing you. Wow, uh, thank you. From 3 to 4 days in my mobile uh, search bar, Instagram, and Google map. All have filled with the Chetan Bhagat, Sapna Bokos, Gora Mangala <laughs> I was waiting for this uh, day, sir, and finally that came, the day came here. Uh, the condition of my English is in uh, ICU. Uh, you all have already figured out this. Uh, no need to tell also. Uh, sir, uh, I am representative of Madhavja in real life. That. Uh, who is struggling to speak in English and uh, not for the love of uh, Aria so many because I don't have a girlfriend in my life. Uh, nowadays the, uh, the world is full of half girlfriend and half boyfriend. <laughs> and, uh, you have shown this in uh, 2014 and now it is uh, 2024 sir. Uh, sir, uh, we need, uh, we, reader, we readers need one more book like this. Yes. Uh, Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Full girlfriend or half? <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, I must say your English is not in the ICU and your confidence is. <laughs> because it's not clearly not your first or second or even third language. And you came here, full audience, in an English bookstore. And for what it's worth, you give a full speech in front of the highest selling author in English. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying to brag about myself, but to build your confidence. Because you did it. So never ever apologize. So if an Italian spoke English like this, you would have said so hard. <laughs> you see the accent? That Gulbarga accent. You know, that Tuscany accent of the so it is obvious, what you say matters, not the language, not the accent. And uh, thank you for reading my books and I am glad that I played a role in your life. And uh, you will find a girlfriend also. <laughs> I just, everything happens at the right time. Still on. Uh, we will be waiting for that beautiful moment. Uh, sir, for we the can... Girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> or for the next New book? Next New book, book. okay. Yes. Both. Both. Half boyfriend uh, okay. this time. <laughs> Uh, we can uh, read only your books without our dictionary or Google. Uh, for English beginners, for English beginners uh, you are the goal, you are the source of confidence, and you are the you are like God for us. Are you are uh, you are working for uh, youth uh, personality development, sir. Uh, it is my happiest moment in my life. I never forget this in my whole life. Uh, last one requests uh, to you, sir, that one selfie with you. We'll take, we'll take it. Uh, we'll yeah. we'll uh, we'll ensure that there is a Do some signing. Yes.
I thank Sapna because uh, Sapna has filled my desire. Thank you, Sapna. Thank you. Thank you. I am writing a dissertation on uh, your book, Half Girlfriends. Eh? Wow. Uh, and I have given the title, Dream of Full Girlfriends. <laughs> so, uh, can you give me uh, some suggestion to complete my dissertation? <laughs> I think this is the toughest question you've got. <laughs> You can convert half to full quite easily. It's normally the guys who have commitment issues. So I think, uh, yeah, just, you have to know if she's the one, you know. If you feel you can have a life with her, it's a bit, half is easy because it's not for life. Full is usually for life. And I think you have to first figure out what you want in life, what she wants in life, and you have to look beyond the beauty and the hotness which a lot of guys cannot when you are young. She's so hot, I will want to be with her forever. That's not a good way to look at it. What does she want? What do you want? And I think there's meeting there, then I think we can have a life together. And then she's full. Double. Triple. Triple also. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. One last one for this man. Okay, so um, thank you for writing a non-fiction book and like what all the others say, it is very refreshing. I'm uh, not just in the field of literature, but non-fiction seems to be my uh, passion. So Atomic Habits, also from an academic point or MBA or from various points, my house is flooded with non-fiction books. As you said, this is a book of the heart and not so much the brain. This could have even been a 400-500 page book if you had to ape what you read. In the past, this is clearly in the Indian context. The Zomato guy sticks through throughout mm. the story. It could be your story, my story, anyone else's story. My hope is that it does become a case study with MB institutes, with psychologists, yes. psychiatrists. It's worth getting that far. If the rest of it was on silver screen, this should be an academic case study. Oh, in that's parts. a very good idea. Chalo. We'll try to do something. That's all yes. that I have to say. Thank you. That's a very good idea. Thank you.